ever wonder why, despite all your hard work and dedication, the scale refuses to budge? You're not alone in this struggle. Weight loss is a journey, often filled with ups and downs, victories and setbacks. It's not just about the physical transformation, but also the emotional roller coaster that comes along with it. There's nothing quite as disheartening as sticking to a strict diet, sweating it out at the gym, only to find that the numbers on the scale remain stubbornly stagnant. You might even feel like you're stuck in a rut, running on a treadmill that's going nowhere. This is a common challenge faced by many on their weight loss journey. But before you throw in the towel, let's shed some light on this situation. It's possible that what you're facing is not a dead end, but a plateau. The truth is you might be experiencing what's known as a weight loss plateau. So, what exactly is a weight loss plateau and why does it happen? Well, imagine you're on a weight loss journey. You're eating healthily, exercising regularly, and steadily losing weight. But then, suddenly, the scale just won't budge. You're stuck despite maintaining your diet and exercise regimen. This, my friends, is what we call a weight loss plateau. But why does this happen? The answer lies in our body's clever and complex system that's designed to keep us alive and functioning at our best. This system is called metabolic adaptation. Metabolic adaptation is your body's built-in survival mechanism. It's like a smart thermostat, adjusting itself based on what's happening around it. When you lose weight, your body needs fewer calories to function because there's less of you to fuel. As a result, your metabolism slows down and your body burns fewer calories, even at rest. This is why you might experience a weight loss plateau. Your body has adapted to your new lower caloric needs. So even though you're eating the same amount of food, you're not creating the same calorie deficit that initially led to your weight loss. Let's add another layer to this. As you lose weight, not all of it is fat. Some of it is muscle, especially if you're losing weight quickly. And here's the kicker. Muscle burns more calories than fat, even when you're at rest. So if you're losing muscle, your metabolism slows down even more, making it harder to lose weight. This is another factor that can contribute to a weight loss plateau. Now let's talk about decreased caloric needs. This is a concept that goes hand in hand with metabolic adaptation. As you lose weight, your body needs fewer calories to maintain its new lower weight. This means that the number of calories that once led to weight loss now only maintains your weight. This can feel frustrating, but remember, it's a sign that your body is functioning exactly as it should. But here's the good news. These plateaus are a normal part of the weight loss process. They're not a sign that you failed or that you need to push yourself harder. They're a sign that your body is adapting and doing exactly what it's designed to do. So the next time you find yourself in a weight loss plateau, remember the science behind it. It's not about willpower. It's about metabolic adaptation, muscle loss and decreased caloric needs. And most importantly, it's about understanding and working with your body, not against it. Understanding the science behind these plateaus is the first step to overcoming them. Now that you understand why plateaus happen, how can you overcome them? Let's dive a little deeper into this. Overcoming a weight loss plateau isn't about reinventing the wheel. Instead, it's about tweaking and fine-tuning your approach. The first step to tackle this hurdle is adjusting your caloric intake. When you initially lose weight, your body needs fewer calories to maintain its new size. This means that, to continue losing weight, you'll need to reassess and often decrease your calorie intake further. However, don't confuse this with starving yourself. It's about making smart choices and focusing on foods that keep you feeling full and satisfied with fewer calories. Think fiber-rich fruits and vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains. Speaking of protein, ensuring adequate protein intake is another crucial step. Protein is essential for maintaining muscle mass, especially when you're eating fewer calories. It also helps keep you feeling full, making it easier to stick to your lower calorie diet. While we're on the subject of diet, remember that all calories are not created equal. Consuming 200 calories of broccoli has a vastly different effect on your body than consuming 200 calories of candy. Prioritize nutrient-dense foods that nourish your body while also helping you feel satisfied. Next, consider increasing your exercise intensity. Your body is an incredible machine that adapts to the demands you place on it. If you've been walking for 30 minutes every day, your body has likely adapted to that level of activity. Try mixing things up, add a few minutes of running, try a new sport, or incorporate strength training into your routine. Of course, physical aspects are only part of the equation. Factors like stress and sleep play significant roles in weight loss as well. 
Chronic stress can lead to hormonal imbalances that make weight loss more difficult. Plus, when you're stressed, you're more likely to reach for comfort foods. Prioritizing stress management techniques such as meditation, yoga, or simply spending time with loved ones can have a profound impact on your weight loss journey. Similarly, getting enough sleep is essential. Lack of sleep can disrupt your metabolism and lead to increased hunger and cravings. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night to give your body the rest it needs to support your weight loss efforts. Lastly, don't forget the importance of patience. Weight loss is a journey, not a sprint. It's normal to experience ups and downs along the way. If you've hit a plateau, it doesn't mean you've failed. Instead, see it as an opportunity to reassess and fine-tune your approach. While it might seem daunting, remember that overcoming a plateau is possible with the right strategies. Whether it's adjusting your caloric intake, amping up your exercise routine, ensuring adequate protein intake, managing stress, or prioritizing sleep, each step brings you closer to your goal. Keep in mind that the journey to weight loss is a personal one, and what works for one person may not work for another. So stay patient, stay committed, and remember, you've got this. And remember this, while it might seem daunting, remember that overcoming a plateau is possible with the right strategies. Overcoming a weight loss plateau isn't just about changing your diet or exercise plan, it's about persistence. It's about waking up each day, looking in the mirror and telling yourself that you can do this. It's about pushing through even when the scale doesn't move, because you know you're building a healthier, stronger you. It's about positivity, about embracing the journey, the ups, the downs, and the plateaus. It's about knowing that every step you take, even the smallest one, is a step towards a better you. And it's about patience. Weight loss is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about understanding that plateaus are a part of the process, that they're not a sign of failure, but a sign that your body is adjusting, changing, evolving. So, Keep your head up, stay consistent, and remember that progress isn't always measured on the scale. Now that you're armed with the knowledge to overcome a weight loss plateau, what's your next step? It's time to put that knowledge to work, to apply these strategies in your own life. Start by identifying your own plateau, then use the tools and techniques we've discussed to break through it. This is not a passive process. It requires active participation, it's about making a commitment to yourself, to your health, and to your future. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. We're all in this together. So why not share your experiences? Post your stories and strategies in the comments section. Your insights could be the spark that helps someone else overcome their own plateau. This is not just about losing weight, it's about gaining health, gaining confidence, and gaining a sense of accomplishment. Remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is progress in your weight loss journey. So keep pushing, keep striving, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself. If you found this video helpful, show some love and like, share and subscribe for more health content.